Hi everyone, it's Christopher here from the Southwest Shooters and I've been in Sweden. That explains really why I've been away for such a long time. I went on holiday, I needed a holiday and I went to Sweden. Thank you Joe Linnell for looking after me and your wonderful beautiful family. It was a pleasure to be there. Anyway, today we're reviewing this gun. In collaboration with my friends at Crack Shots, based at Sabre Close in Houston Abbott, we're going to take a closer look at this gun. This is a Virac HW100 BP or Bullpup in 2-2 configuration. It's available for £975 from the boys at Crack Shot. It's pre-owned. It's an excellent gun. I'm going to take you through all the features of this and what you get, and I'm going to even show you a demonstration of me using it at 30 meters. And let's go. This is based on the HW100 platform, a tried and tested legendary air rifle. I hold the HW100 and its derivatives in the same esteem as things like the Air Arms S400 and the Daystate Red Wolf. It's an iconic benchmark of a gun and I think that this doesn't disappoint. The main change is the configuration that it's in, the fact that it's a bullpup. So it's not a standard rifle, it's, it's meant for like more in, I'm going to call it in work. Um, close proximity if you were using it for field work or you were in a barn perhaps it would be ideal the gun has some amazing features and i'm going to talk through the main ones here for you now i think that the virac magazine is the best one available on the market it is so simple it is foolproof it gives you 14 shots it's made of one piece i'm aware of as, as i'm aware of one piece of just machined metal and you really can't go wrong with it once you slot your pellets in pop it in the magazine close that little arm and then you're ready to oops you need to get it configured correctly close the arm and then you're ready to go i'm just going to dry fire it and you, i can give you an idea of the noise of the gun now okay, very very quiet the gun is surprisingly short so i'm going to show you this although it takes ages to wind off the moderator of the gun I think this is worth showing you just how tiny the gun actually is. So the, the, the moderator adds extra length, as everyone will appreciate, I'm sure. But once you take the moderator off, you can really see how short the gun actually is. Now, because this is German, and German stuff is generally good quality, it takes quite a long time to wind it off. But look at that. So the pellet goes in there and it essentially comes out there, the rest of the travel being soundproofing. So that is really kind of crazy how small that is. But it doesn't detract from how accurate and how good the gun is. And you're going to see that for yourselves in a moment when I show you the data of me shooting it at 30 meters. Bearing in mind that um, traditionally, I used to think that two twos were inferior to 177s. I was wrong. That is not the case. You can be just as accurate with a 2.2 as you can a 177. The only thing is that um, for me, I kind of prefer 177 because you get more pellets for your money. It's purely a financial thing. However, where I think this gun would be ideal, and I think the kind of bio um, who would really appreciate this would be someone who's using it for field work. You're about to see me shoot it at 30 meters and I'm really, really happy with the accuracy. And I think that when you consider the five penny piece grouping that I'm going to show you as well, it will adequately and humanely dispatch of any quarry that you might be interested in. Now, I do not hunt. I just shoot targets and I do these reviews for fun and I really like doing it. But I think this gun would be ideal for that purpose. It's very um, pointable. And what I mean is it's nice and into my shoulder. It's probably the best... Um, kind of sized bullpup that I've ever used really is and it's to me it's more of an example of a true bullpup it's been designed specifically for being a bullpup I love the ambidextrous grip sometimes I like to shoot lefty and the grip in my hand feels just as good lefty as it does righty um, safety switch which when the gun is loaded works you cannot double load this gun I like that feature a lot so there's gonna be no wasted pellets the only downside that I can really see, that I can talk to you about in all honesty, is the fairly low shot count. You're gonna get between four and five magazines out of this. I think that if you were 
in a field type situation during an evening that's probably more than enough but sometimes if you like to spend all day shooting you're going to find yourself going back to the stirrup pump or your bottle quite a lot that really is the only negative in terms of the air gun hierarchy it's really difficult I'm going to reiterate something that I said earlier Virax are extremely good guns the HW100 and this is a kind of evolution of that in just terms of its configuration has been around for over 20 years and it's been like that for a reason because it's good because it's very difficult to beat I know this is a used example there this this kind of like um, plastic kind of like leather polymer skin on it does mark fairly easily however the gun still looks amazing and I know because I've seen them that people have taken this skin off and it's kind of like a wooden stock underneath I like the black look it has a pick rail at the bottom should you want to add a torch or a bipod to it or whatever you want to but give the boys at Crackshot a call the gun comes obviously with um, I think two magazines all of the necessary filling equipment that you need and then you're good to go you will need to get yourself your own scope for it this is my scope cam which is going to lead me very nicely into showing you the results of me shooting it at 30 meters. Afterwards, I will also show you the comparison to a five penny piece. I'm very happy with that. Spoiler alert. And I'd love to hear any of your thoughts and opinions on anything in this video. So there you go. Thank you, Crackshot, for letting me use it. Congratulations again on being air gun supplier, retailer of the year, 2023. And I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye bye. All right, guys, we've got the HW100 VP in 2.2 here at about 30 meters. I'm going to get it. There we go. All right, so I'm going to be going for the dot in the middle. Wish me luck. Take the safety off, obviously, and let's roll. Ah. Little tag wasn't in, excuse me. Let's try that again. That's where you want it. Holy smokes, that's unreal, hold on. Oh, I pulled that, apologies. Yes. Okay, I can live with that. Yes. Excellent. And I think I could be out now. No. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Okay, now I'm out. Right, I'm gonna go and get that target, but I'm gonna discount those two flyers. I'm very happy with that, that's amazing. Let's go. Bye-bye. This is the little group that I just shot using the HW100 ballpup at, it's about 30 meters. And you can see that the main grouping there is nicely covered by a five penny piece. Ha ha ha. There are two flyers. Now that first one, I didn't have the little latch that secures the magazine clicked in. I think that could have contributed to why that was a flyer. And that one I pulled. But you can see there that, um, that it groups very well, as you would really want it to, under a five penny piece. 
super happy with that. Well done, Virac.